Thank but you. the fools still think that that chump, Joe Frazier, can beat me because he went the distance twice and he ended up on a close decision. I'm going to give him a real whooping, and I wrote a poem. Some of you heard it, but this is a little conscience. I got a little gorilla here. This is his conscience. I keep it right in my pocket everywhere I go. Back there. <laughs> And I wrote a short poem. It says it will be a killer and a thriller and a killer when I get the gorilla in Manila. That's right. <laughs> and I got his conscience right here to keep me on guard. See, see, here's the way he looks when you hit him. <laughs> all night, that's all he's going to be. All night in Malaysia. That's all you're going to see. The Philippines, Rebel. Come on, girl. We in Manila. <laughs> Come on, girl. This is a thriller. I'm gonna annihilate him. I'm gonna annihilate him. I'm getting sick and tired of the name Joe Frazier. Uh, I've heard anything. too much about all I hear is about Joe Frazier. And after this fight, I don't hear no more about Joe Frazier. Uh Man, on out of here. I'm gonna do something to you. You got all the time. And in you the world. in Manila, you're my country too. I'm gonna win every round, cause over in that country, I the one not. who wins is the one who the one who loses is the one who get hit on the head the most. I uh, did. I'm gonna hit you on your head the most. I promise. Uh, I promise you, I'll hit you on your head the most. That, uh, when I come down today, you know, we're not gonna get all worked up, and uh, we're not gonna make I'm not, I'm just telling too the truth. much noise because uh, I'm just telling the truth. I don't want to be brand with that. Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna hit you on the head. Kind of, uh, I hit your situation. head. Get about the I'm head just gonna hit you on your head. What about your body? It's gonna be a thriller and a chiller and a killer when I get the gorilla in Manila. Well, number one, he's too ugly to be the world heavyweight champion. <laughs> Joe Frazier. Joe Frazier is so ugly, his face should be donated to the Bureau of Wildlife. <laughs> Are we rolling? <laughs> hey people, what's up? This is Jamil Rawls, and I want to give you the secrets of beating gang stalking, but most importantly, at the end of this, I want to also encourage you to, to contact me for $50 a week courses I have out now, and they're individualized. They all depend on who you are. I redo them around you. It's not just me giving you my experience, me listening to you, going through everything you're going through, and together we'll put a formula together where you'll be 110% successful no matter what. You'll keep the ball rolling, and you'll get through it the Jamil Rawls way. Now, the best thing about the gang stalking program is what I call the genie effect. They perceive what fears you have, and they perceive what you might feel uncomfortable, feel uncomfortable with, and they project that to you. Now, I'm the star of the program. Everybody else is just an actor. They just pay people to be actors. I'm the star of the program. And so what I do counts the most. And so I, I have this little brain right here, right? And I talk to it, and I talk to it. I talk to the little brain. And I'd be like, yeah, send me, send me a girl with a, with, with, with a, you know, send me a girl with a fat ass boy into the, into the brain. And see, the pro, what the program does is the program reflects that back to you. They know what you like. So they'll go, they'll go have females walk around me. They'll do all that stuff. <clears throat> back, in the, back in the day, a few months ago, I used to walk for hours and hours and hours. I used to walk at nighttime at 3 in the morning. And I live in Michigan. Some areas have no sidewalks. I live in Northern Shores, Michigan. And there was a street called, uh, what was it called? Pataluna. 
I believe. And I'd walk down there at night, and they would have cars come in front of me and keep going towards me like they were going to hit me and kill me. I didn't know that it was a drunk driver. I didn't know if it was somebody who just couldn't drive. I didn't know what it was. I could have easily been killed. I faced that fear and kept walking. I kept doing it and doing it and doing it. And it got to the point where they stopped doing it. They didn't even care anymore because they knew that they knew that was they knew Jamil Rawls was all about success, not fear. And then after that, that helped me at 110 percent It helped me further to accomplish my fear of death. It helped me further with a bunch of subconscious stuff. And that's the genie effect. And so after graduating all those stages and all those steps, it it, 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 it was just so amazing. It's hard to explain. When I was in Phoenix for a couple weeks, they didn't have gangbangers approach me. I'd tell the person I was famous, give them a flyer. Tell them my name, tell them everybody about everything about me, tell them to Google me. And I, I'm just blowing up with success. I mean, it, it's, just, it's just still going. It's still going right now. And what, what I do now is they have females approach me, and they have really attractive females that keep around me all the time. And it's, it's really cool. All I do is just hang out with that sexy females and help people beat the gang stalking program now. I call that level of success the Players Club. And we just keep, we keep, we keep going with the genie effect. If you have a fear within you, don't be afraid to let the gang stalking program see it. Let them see it. Give them that fear. They're going to reflect it back to you in a really intense way, but it's going to help you grind through it, and you're going to beat your own fears. They're going to keep throwing stuff at you, and no matter what. And for me, it's cool. Like, they bring helicopters out. I'm like, oh, that's my helicopter. You know what I mean? And we, we just keep grinding it out no matter what. But I got this thing. This is the program. This is the whole program right here, and I'm the star of the program. So I just tell the program what I want. I'll say, yeah, you know that chick over there? I'm going to look at her the most today so they make me see more of her. They had a girl They had a girl around the corner with blonde hair. <clears throat> nice ass on her. I started looking at her. Then they started ha having her out walking with, she had like these sexy dresses and stuff like that. And I'm just like, yeah, man, I, I got the genie effect going. I'm the king of the program. And with me, it's got over everything. Some people will sit there and be like, the gang stalking program is so, ter it's so terrible. It's, it's the, they know voodoo and all this stuff. I got over everything. Let, let people do what they got to do. You know what I mean? We're riding with God. And just to show you guys, real God got me out of a life death situation. I'm a veteran conspiracy theorist. Uh, the only person in the world that ever did and got away with it. I brought out a bunch of stuff from the 60s and 70s, Jonestown, the Manson family, a bunch of other stuff. And it was directly connected to the most powerful people in the world, the people who were the president of the White House, the people that run the motion picture industry in Hollywood. I got out of a life death situation. I kept running my mouth, talking about it, talking about it. Then they put me in the gang stalking program. And now that I've beaten the gang stalking program, we're just out there helping everybody else beat it. And we just did an international interview last night. Earlier that day, we did another interview with uh, a, a legendary um, guy who he's recently been on the History Channel, Barefoot Pookie, Pookie uh, Triple OG Crip from South Central Los Angeles. Before that, we did an interview with the Human Rights Group. You know, and, and when I was teaching my methods to people. People were calling into the show, and I was I was giving them uh, you know a positive message. Because a good follower turns into a good leader. So that's what I want you to do right now. Keep that ball rolling. Just follow me. Just keep watching my videos. And, you know, if you're a strong follower, in time you'll be a strong leader. And we're positioning ourselves up there internationally to be, to be around the biggest leaders in the world. We're going for that Nobel Peace Prize, I promise you. We're going for that United Nations Conference, I promise you. And when you give me $50 a week, you're helping to finance the future of the planet. You're, you're financing answers. This is going to help me to go out and create leaders around the world who have beaten gang stalking, help me travel. And then, you know when you get out into the world and you travel, you're going to have a program worldwide set up. Your children are going to grow up in a world where they don't have to be targeted. Your grandchildren are going to grow up in a world where the program has been eliminated by Jamil Rawls, the Jamil Rawls way. And so, that genie effect, keep that genie effect going. When you go out in public today, express a desire to reflect what's going on within you, and watch the program reflect it back to you, okay? And you got to come hang out with me. I mean, we have fun. We wave at the gang stalkers. We do everything we can. We go to stores. We tell them who we are. Um, we pass out <laughs> flyers. We talk to the women. I mean, it's like a nonstop party, man. It's like I turn, I'm a celebrity now. It's like I'm a living legend now. And so, you know, I mean, just, just relax into the concept of you're the star. You're the star of the program. And so contact me right now, Jamil Rawls versus Gangstalking at Gmail.